Thanks, JP. And just wanted to give a note of, of thanks to Dr. Placide and Dr. JP for their leadership of this session. And um, I think I'll just give a few words um, in terms of closing and then um, we can break for lunch. So just in terms of um, thinking about next steps for the subgroup, I think that this morning has been excellent in terms of giving us great food for thought in terms of the next steps, um, just very briefly. Um, so we'll continue with the development of the comprehensive recommendations, taking into account the feedback um, received today and you know, in subsequent days if, if others um, reach out to us on that. Um, I think we'll also continue to consider the idea of whether it would be possible to perhaps have some in-country experience of some of these recommendations to see what their added value is and whether there are improvements that can be made. Um, I think also we'll consider whether there should be the development of additional materials or tools or resources to better operationalize these recommendations. Um, and we'll move forward with some of the adjustments of the cholera free status framework that I mentioned based on the changes to the interim recommendations and development of the comprehensive recommendations. Um, and then we'll move forward with, with piloting the free status framework as well. Um, so again, really appreciate um, JP, Placid, and uh, especially the country representatives present here for their sharing their very valuable experience and, and insights in all of these topics. So thanks very much, and I hope you enjoy lunch. Just a few guidelines for the lunch. So uh, it starts from now until 2 p.m. in the Fellini room, same room as yesterday in the breakfast room, first floor in this building. And you've been given some meal vouchers, so bring them with you, and you just have to hand them out to the to the staff in the restaurant. If you don't have any, just came to me, but it should have been on the table. Thank you very much. <laughs>